Pomona Valley Mining Company in the city of Pomona, and I'm here with Shauna Hardy. She's the general manager here. Shauna, first of all, check out this view. <laughs> I know, it's crazy, right? I know. A lot of people don't realize how beautiful it really is up on top of the hill. It is. These windows span the entire length of the restaurant? Actually, our whole entire facility has floor-to-ceiling windows. Wow, and today is just a gorgeous day. Yeah, you'd be surprised. It's almost always clear up here on the hill. This is where I need to live. <laughs> So tell me, what do you do here? I'm the general manager, so I oversee all of the operations, banquets, restaurant, and any other fun entertainment things that we happen to do here. What keeps customers coming back here? Um, the view, yes. for sure. <laughs> the amazing service and delicious food that we offer here. How long has Pomona Valley Mining Company been here in this location? Well, we actually are getting ready to celebrate our 35th anniversary. So why the name Mining Company? Well, actually we have a bunch of actual mining artifacts um, attached to our walls oh. and some interesting articles and photographs on our wall. And um, this was a mining site, but we never actually had mining go on here on the hill. Okay. I noticed when I walked up, there's some buildings by the entryway. What are those? Um, it's just like kind of a replica of what this would have been if it had been an actual mining site. The kitchen is very busy. They're very busy preparing um, for all of the banquet events. The cool thing about doing banquets is that we will feed tonight, we'll feed about 700 people in the same entire hour. Oh my goodness. That's crazy, right? Yeah, so 700 people tonight alone? Yes. Is that including dinner? Um, no, that's just in banquets. Wow. And how many people do you think will come in for dinner? Just a, a natural? About 150. We're expecting 700 people. We'll have ballet in the parking lot tonight, and then we have a shuttle that's complimentary for our guests so that we yeah. can escort them up and down the hill so that we can take care of them in our restaurant. Shauna, I'm not sure that you're convenient enough off the freeway. Um, just don't walk out the window and find out. <laughs> yeah, you'll end up landing on the 10 freeway. <laughs> so you can't miss you guys. No, you can't. I'm sure everybody that lives or works in our community has seen us when they drive by on the freeway. Yeah, drive by on the freeway, look up, and you'll see the big Pomona Valley Mining Company. Absolutely. <laughs> So this is our beautiful Ponderosa room. On Fridays, it's actually a nightclub, but tonight we're celebrating a wedding reception in here. So we'll have about 180 people dancing and eating and drinking and partying the night away. Where are we at now? We're in our veranda room. This is actually my very favorite room. It's I can see why. Well, it's kind of like an indoor patio, so it gives you the best of both worlds. You're indoors, but yet you still have that outdoor breeze. So yeah. it's really popular for weddings because we have a beautiful gazebo. That's gorgeous. And right on the outside for the view is directly behind where you're getting married. Absolutely. And if you time it out right, you can be saying I do right as the sun sets. And what, what about all the decorations on the walls? Well, just like the entire facility, we have original mining artifacts all over our facility. That's incredible. So these are things that they, the miners themselves, would have really used. Mm -hmm. Mining tools, pieces from their carts, things that they would have used to mine for gold. Are these things that you found or were they donated? No, the owner actually sourced many things that are in here. But yeah, the room itself is just gorgeous and really there's not many decorations right now, but it already looks beautiful. Yeah, it's actually the most transitional in the way that it can look and feel. So it completely depends on what your own personal taste and style is and yeah. there's tons of things that we can do. Can we go see what's going on in the kitchen? Absolutely. I'm, I'm curious up. to check that out. You got it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Shauna told me that I could learn how to grill my own steak. However, I don't grill, so I brought my husband today. <laughs> this is Jaren. <laughs> Jaren's gonna learn how to make us the perfect steak. The perfect steak. Okay, so this is Jose, and he's gonna explain to us how to make the perfect steak. Let's say this is gonna be medium. So probably like. Probably five minutes from each side. And then you're gonna do so you can practice, or you're gonna. Do oh, this okay. Concert. Let's so, go hands on. How? What kind of heat is on that? I would say 350 degrees at least. 350 yeah. degrees. Yeah. Five minutes, 350 degrees each side. Flip it. We're good. Yeah. Now that's a really thick steak that you got here. Uh, Ten ounces is uh, filet mignon. We also have. A 14 ounces of huge uh, sticks. <laughs> 14 ounces, holy cow. So how, do, how different is it when you cook one that's 10 ounces from one that's 14 ounces? Depends on the thickness of the meat, is the time it's uh, gonna last to cook. Okay, so it depends how you wanna cook it and the thickness. You wanna see something bigger? 
is a one pound fillet, a pound of fillet. It's a couple more minutes and uh, you can turn the first time it's baked, so. And it looks like there's nothing to it, just flip it over. Voila. Now has this been marinated or? No, yes. Plain. Yes, uh, plain. Uh, we don't put any marinade. This, uh, those, uh, that, that kind of meat is also is at uh, least 21 days uh, age. So it's very tender and flavored. So we cut this uh, daily so it doesn't get old. So. so how long do we leave it on this side? Uh, at least three more minutes. And uh, uh, we're going to cook that one medium. So that way this is going to take at least seven more minutes at least. Okay, so we put this on after we do the steak. Yeah, it's a steak we, butter. Yeah, it's steak butter. Uh, you see, like, at the beginning, at the end, we just put a little bit so they give more flavor to the meat. So there you have it, another unique spot, very unique spot, here in the city of Pomona in the Inland Empire. We're gonna enjoy this lovely steak that Jaren grilled for us. Wait, 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 but... whoa, 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 you said we? <laughs> I don't see any food in front of you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Jaren. What's up with this? They got all the food, I get the appetizer tray wait, then. Wait, 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 they? I still don't see any food in front of Jaren. <laughs> oh, here, here, he here. I'm the sorry. Steak. There you go, here, let me get you a, um, uh, there you go, all right. Let's see, let's see. Oh, man, what's going on? It's all good here. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs>